Ginger Duggar opens up about her decision to start wearing pants, my convictions were changing. Ginger, Duggar, Vuolo is opening up about her decision to expand her closet and begin wearing pants. A change she made after living more than two decades without them in her wardrobe. One of Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar's 19 children, Ginger wore only skirts and dresses while growing up, as seen on the family's former TLC show, 19 Kids and Counting. My mom had always dressed as girls in skirts and dresses, a standard that was taken from Deuteronomy 22. 5, which says, a woman shall not wear a man's garment, ESV, and I never really questioned it, Ginger, 27, writes in her and husband Jeremy Vuolo's new book, The Hope We Hold, Finding Peace in the Promises of God, on sale now. Modesty was a huge topic in our house, and we believed that wearing skirts instead of pants was a central part of being modest. But I wanted to discover for myself what the Bible had to say, continues the Arkansas native. Worthy Books, a division of Hachette Book Group, Inc. The Hope We Hold. After marrying Jeremy, 33, in November 2016 and relocating to Laredo, Texas, where he worked in ministry, Ginger would often have alone time at home, where she began, digging into, the Bible, she recalls in the book. Since Jeremy and I had begun studying scripture together, I had become more aware of the different beliefs and doctrines Christians held, the counting on star rights. I realized that not everyone interpreted different passages of scripture the way I always had, and I wanted to find out why. She continued studying scripture, listening to sermons and reading commentaries in addition to discussing her thoughts with Jeremy. Growing up, I had a set of standards that I took as givens, she states in the book, but as she re-examined and compared them to scripture, my convictions were changing. Through her studies, she realized that biblical modesty is deeper and more profound than wearing skirts instead of pants, she writes in The Hope We Hold. Modesty isn't only about what you wear. It's about the position of your heart. Wanting to follow what the Bible said and searching through it for answers, Ginger notes that she never found a passage specifically forbidding women from wearing pants. At the time, Jeremy was admittedly Caught off guard when Ginger came to me questioning whether she should continue to only wear skirts and dresses, he writes. His goal, he continues, wasn't to tell her what to do or make the decision for her, but simply to point her back to scripture. I saw in her a true desire to understand what the Bible said and do exactly that, just as I had since the day we met. Finally, upon finding certainty from the Bible, my heart was free, Ginger writes in the book, adding that she felt no inner conflict, when she started wearing pants for the first time. But the change wasn't easy. Ginger, struggled, withholding a belief that went against her conservative family's stance. I knew they deeply cared about their convictions, and I didn't want to hurt them now that I didn't share those convictions, she writes, adding that she, felt emotional as I worried that my parents would think I didn't appreciate how I was raised. Ultimately, she came to the realization that she, had to walk in truth and follow what I knew the Bible said, adds the mother of two, who shares daughters Felicity, two, and five-month-old Evangeline Joe with Jeremy. Currently, the couple is living in Los Angeles, where Jeremy is pursuing graduate studies at the Master's Seminary. In recent days, God has made it overwhelmingly clear to us that he is leading us out of Laredo. Through much prayer and counsel, the next step for our family is to relocate to Los Angeles to attend Grace Community Church as Jeremy pursues graduate studies at the Master's Seminary, they told people in March 2019. As excited as we are to begin this new adventure, leaving Laredo this July will be one of the hardest things we've ever done. Our friends here have become like family, they continued. Please pray for us as we open this new chapter of our lives. The release of Ginger and Jeremy's book comes in the aftermath of her eldest brother Josh Duggar's arrest for child pornography charges. He has pleaded not guilty, and a judge ruled on Wednesday to release him to third-party custodians as he awaits his July trial. After Josh was taken into custody last week, the couple spoke out, saying in a joint statement, we are disturbed to hear of the charges against Josh. While this case must go through the legal system, we want to make it clear that we absolutely condemn any form of child abuse and fully support the authorities and judicial process in their pursuit of justice. The hope we hold, finding peace in the promises of God is out now. Pregnant Ginger Duggar shares photo kissing husband Jeremy Vuolo as she reflects on how they met. Although Ginger, Duggar, Vuolo couldn't have, predicted, her love story, it's one of her personal favorites to tell. In an Instagram post on Wednesday, the counting on star reflected on meeting husband Jeremy Vuolo, 
whom she was introduced to by her older sister Jessa, Duggar, Seawald and brother-in-law Ben Seawald. There are a few questions, new friends, usually ask over dinner. One of them is, so, how did you guys meet? I love that question because I love telling the story. Ginger, 26, wrote alongside a photo of herself and Jeremy, 32, sharing a smooch. For us, it was a smart introduction from at Ben underscore Seawald and at Jessa Seawald that neither of us could have predicted would take us where we are today, smirk, the pregnant reality star continued. Sometimes I thank God for sister and brothers-in-law who are part-time matchmakers, open mouth smile, Ginger wrote. In June 2016, People exclusively revealed that Ginger and Jeremy, a former professional soccer player, were officially courting. Ginger said at the time that she met Jeremy the previous May. The two then, had the opportunity to go on a missions trip together, she said, it was there that I really saw his heart and really admired his character. I was initially friends with Ben Seawald and Jessa Duggar, Seawald, and it was through them that I got to meet Ginger, Jeremy told People. We are very excited to begin this journey together. In November of that year, the couple tied the knot. Following the big day, Ginger left her family home in Arkansas and relocated to Laredo, Texas, with Jeremy to help him with his ministry work. The pair welcomed their first child together, daughter Felicity Nicole, on July 19, 2018. After spending three years in the Lone Star State, they announced in May 2019 that they were relocating to Los Angeles. In recent days, God has made it overwhelmingly clear to us that he is leading us out of Laredo. Through much prayer and counsel, the next step for our family is to relocate to Los Angeles to attend Grace Community Church as Jeremy pursues graduate studies at the Master's Seminary, they told people in an exclusive statement. As excited as we are to begin this new adventure, leaving Laredo this July will be one of the hardest things we've ever done. Our friends here have become like family, they continued. Please pray for us as we open this new chapter of our lives. Last month, Ginger and Jeremy who are now settled into life in L.A., announced that they are expecting their second child together. We are so excited, Ginger told People exclusively. Felicity is going to have to have a sister. Everything looks great with the baby. We're so thankful. Had a lot of checkups and we're just really, really excited. Their baby on the way comes months after Ginger and Jeremy suffered a devastating miscarriage last fall. The morning after we announced to family that we were expecting, Ginger woke up and, woke me up very early in the morning, saying that she thought she lost the baby, Jeremy recalled. We found out later that day that she had. That was very difficult and definitely a trial for us. Added Ginger, in those times when your faith is tried, you just run to God all the more. We were just praying together talking with family, had friends at our church here that just surrounded us. It was such a hard time, but Jer just really supported me, and it was just such a tremendous blessing to have many people who loved on us in that difficulty. After finding out they were expecting again, the couple was overjoyed. Having that little one healthy in the womb, and growing strong, is so exciting, Jeremy said. The couple's emotional ups and downs will be a part of the new season of Counting On, which premieres next month and documents their new life in LA. Ginger Duggar's new book details. Will her family be safe or scorched? Ginger Duggar's new book may be the latest grenade tossed at the reality show family. Can they really survive another blow? The former reality star is set to release a follow-up to Becoming Free Indeed, My Story of Disentangling Faith from Fear, the memoir Duggar penned last year that delved into her complicated childhood and the relationship with her parents. Prior to that book, Ginger and her husband Jeremy wrote something called The Hope We Hold, Finding Peace in the Promises of God. Ginger Duggar's next book, What Will, People Pleaser, Be About? On January 14, Ginger will come out with People Pleaser, breaking free from the burden of imaginary expectations, which is described on Amazon as some sort of self-help book. Are you a people pleaser? Can you even begin to measure how the approval of others has shaped your heart and mind, your faith and relationships, your habits and identity, reads the synopsis on Amazon? In People Pleaser, New York Times best-selling author Ginger Vuolo shares her personal journey of constantly seeking approval from others and how she found her true identity. As the description continues, it hints that Ginger is ready to dive in deeper into some of the decisions she made while she was under her father's roof and how she feels about her own identity today. From childhood to early adulthood, Ginger Duggar Vuolo followed the expectations of others, never taking the time to discover who she truly was.
It wasn't until she asked herself the question, who am I, that she realized she was a people pleaser. This realization led her on a journey of self-discovery and ultimately, to rely on God for her approval and sense of self-worth. Is it a self-help book or a memoir? Ginger hopes this book will inspire others to embark on a similar journey towards freedom, states Amazon, referring to how Duggar has become at least a little bit estranged from her evil parents. She's at least been very critical of the church in which she was raised. This is how the Amazon synopsis concludes. Through her faith and reliance on God, Ginger began to break free from the need for approval and discover true freedom. This book is a guide for anyone struggling with people-pleasing tendencies and seeking to find their true identity and purpose in life. Learn how to. What is Ginger's relationship with the family today? News of this release comes not long after we learned that Ginger is selling her house in Los Angeles. Maybe to move back to Arkansas, but maybe to purchase a larger place with the advance she likely received for this book. If she was given such an advance, it can be deduced that there are at least some juicy bits in the book that throw the family under the bus. And as for her relationship with the family, things have been rather hush-hush as of late. But that's because she's keeping all the really big bombshells a secret for the book. All will be revealed January 2025. Pregnant Ginger Duggar shares photo kissing husband Jeremy Vuolo as she reflects on how they met. Although Ginger, Duggar, Vuolo couldn't have predicted her love story, it's one of her personal favorites to tell. In an Instagram post on Wednesday, the Counting on Star reflected on meeting husband Jeremy Vuolo, whom she was introduced to by her older sister Jessa, Duggar, Seawald and brother-in-law Ben Seawald. There are a few questions, new friends, usually ask over dinner. One of them is, so, how did you guys meet? I love that question because I love telling the story. Ginger, 26, wrote alongside a photo of herself and Jeremy, 32, sharing a smooch. For us, it was a smart introduction from at Ben underscore Seawald and at Jessa Seawald that neither of us could have predicted would take us where we are today, smirk, the pregnant reality star continued. Sometimes I thank God for sister and brothers-in-law who are part-time matchmakers, open mouth smile, Ginger wrote. In June 2016, People exclusively revealed that Ginger and Jeremy, a former professional soccer player, were officially courting. Ginger said at the time that she met Jeremy the previous May. The two then, had the opportunity to go on a missions trip together, she said. It was there that I really saw his heart and really admired his character. I was initially friends with Ben Seawald and Jessa, Duggar, Seawald, and it was through them that I got to meet Ginger, Jeremy told People. We are very excited to begin this journey together. In November of that year, the couple tied the knot. Following the big day, Ginger left her family home in Arkansas and relocated to Laredo, Texas, with Jeremy to help him with his ministry work. The pair welcomed their first child together, daughter Felicity Nicole, on July 19, 2018. After spending three years in the Lone Star State, they announced in May 2019 that they were relocating to Los Angeles. In recent days, God has made it overwhelmingly clear to us that He is leading us out of Laredo. Through much prayer and counsel, the next step for our family is to relocate to Los Angeles to attend Grace Community Church as Jeremy pursues graduate studies at the Master's Seminary, they told people in an exclusive statement. As excited as we are to begin this new adventure, Leaving Laredo this July will be one of the hardest things we've ever done, our friends here have become like family, they continued. Please pray for us as we open this new chapter of our lives. Last month, Ginger and Jeremy, who are now settled into life in LA, announced that they are expecting their second child together. We are so excited, Ginger told People exclusively. Felicity is going to have to have a sister. Everything looks great with the baby. We're so thankful had a lot of checkups and were just really, really excited. Their baby on the way comes months after Ginger and Jeremy suffered a devastating miscarriage last fall. The morning after we announced to family that we were expecting, Ginger woke up and, woke me up very early in the morning, saying that she thought she lost the baby, Jeremy recalled. We found out later that day that she had. That was very difficult and definitely a trial for us. Added Ginger. In those times when your faith is tried, you just run to God all the more. We were just praying together talking with family, had friends at our church here that just surrounded us. It was such a hard time, but Jer just really supported me, and it was just such a tremendous blessing to have many people who loved on us in that difficulty. After finding out they were expecting again, the couple was overjoyed. 
Having that little one healthy in the womb, and growing strong, is so exciting, Jeremy said. The couple's emotional ups and downs will be a part of the new season of Counting On, which premieres next month and documents their new life in L.A. Ginger Duggar's new book details. Will her family be safe or scorched? Ginger Duggar's new book may be the latest grenade tossed at the reality show family. Can they really survive another blow? The former reality star is set to release a follow-up to Becoming Free Indeed, My Story of Disentangling Faith from Fear, the memoir Duggar penned last year that delved into her complicated childhood and the relationship with her parents. Prior to that book, Ginger and her husband Jeremy wrote something called The Hope We Hold, Finding Peace in the Promises of God.